Hey there, this is Coach Jordan. So today I want to talk to you about uh, the three phases and the two types of growth that entrepreneurs uh, go through, ideally go through. Now, I believe for businesses there are uh, three phases and two types of growth. The three phases are startup stability and scale. Uh, types are external and internal, and I'm going to explain all of this. But in the beginning, most companies or entrepreneurs work through the startup phase, uh, the launch phase, you know, using blood and guts, meaning they put everything on their back and march forward, making it work any way that they can. And their success is often created through just sheer determination and will. During this time of growth, uh, the entrepreneur is focused on uh, external, right? External growth being sales, revenue, adoption, market share, and hopefully profit. Uh, in another word, survival. Uh, and if they do this long enough, if they do this right enough, then they will eventually get to phase two, which is stabilization. Now, stabilization is all about internal growth, i.e. getting the right people and engineering the right systems, both to make the company predictable and sustainable. Um, most entrepreneurs often struggle here because of their bias towards action and the mundane nature of this phase. Stabilization isn't fun. Uh, in fact, it can be downright boring. And so my encouragement here is to practice patience and ideally use this phase to assemble an all-star executive team uh, and also to kind of install an operating system into the company. Uh, we've got some information down below for you to check that out. But getting the, the executive team and the operation, uh, the operating system correct is so important. I mean, literally, if you don't get this right, you will consistently come back uh, to this phase uh, or back to the startup phase. So um, check out the reference section below for a few great insights and tools on this. But if we do stabilization correctly, then we go back or we go to scale. And that's where the entrepreneur gets really excited. Uh, scale is a lot like startup, except it's a lot smoother. Um, as an, and as my good friend Craig Zuber says, uh, you move from blood and guts to ease and elegance. And this phase is to take territory with the intention of really never relinquishing it. Uh, the entrepreneur is back in their favorite mode and looking for explosive levels of growth. So uh, in this phase, I always encourage people to hold on and have fun. <clears throat> now, if you scale properly after stabilization, you're going to go back again for stabilization. See, people want to climb the ladder of success, but it's usually uh, the staircase of success, meaning you're going to have verticals and horizontals. And uh, at this point, you're probably going to need to educate yourself on something called the rule of three of set, re, the rule of three of ten. And essentially what that is, is that every time your company grows by intervals of three uh, and 10, everything you have breaks. Your old way of doing it no longer works and you must reinvent the operating system and infrastructure. And a great company that stands the test of time will continue, continuously just oscillate between these two uh, phases, stabilization and then scale. And ideally, they do this while maintaining a cultural grit, the cultural grit of a startup. And so my intention in writing this or, or sharing this with you is that I hope that you'll look at this as a journey, that you're in the, uh, in the entrepreneurial world, not just to make it a great year, but to make a great career and that you enter all three of these phases and experience both types of growth in the order that will ultimately make this company or this venture, um, you know, a, an extension of your life by design. So there you have it. Those are the three phases and the two types of growth. Now go do it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.